Traders, Cousin Vinny coming to you from theclosingprint.com, April the 4th, Easter Sunday. In this edition of your weekend video newsletter, we'll discuss the indices, all of which moved higher last week, led by growth and tech. NASDAQ closing higher by 2.7% for the week. Only Intel and Cisco were a bit lower. Bond stock ratios bullish. Most of our indicators are bullish. In fact, we have 17 bullish, 3 neutral, and 0 bearish going into this week. Most of the stocks from the IBD 50, stocks showing up on relative st strength scans, stocks that are showing rising profit estimates in green, CanSlem candidates, and scans that we've run all looking bullish with Bukowski showing 5 of 5 green with his CPI signal bullish since March 26th. He has one bearish pattern, 63 bullish patterns, and 485 patterns waiting for breakout. The S&P 500, we have 3,900 as major support. Price moved above 4,000, so we'll look for institutions to reposition accordingly going into the first full week of trading in the month of April, one of the seasonally strongest months of the year. The S&P 500 finished very strong last week, near the highs of the session. The spiders closed above 400, a resistance level that we've been watching for the last few weeks. With RSI continuation, above 50, volume increasing on Wednesday and Thursday. MACD is crossed and Stochastics is showing strength of trend into one of the seasonally strongest months of the year as I have continued to parrot over the last few weeks. With earnings about to start in two weeks, with banks reporting, I believe April 15th, Bank of America starts it off with Bank of America estimates of 62 cents for the quarter on 21.6 billion in revenues with many expecting a year over year growth of more than 33 almost 34 percent and considering the strength in the housing sector alone the second quarter is setting up to repeat the performance that we've seen over the previous years. That said, Bank of America and the banks as a whole appear to be trading like analysts anticipate earnings are going to be better than expected. An additional aspect that is adding to our anticipation of breadth improving was the fact that growth bounced last week. We saw big cap tech getting bought up at a discount and value is still performing well together pointing to a repeat in April performance and an opportunity to buy stocks at a discount to previous all-time highs. Adding a few stocks to our list of S&P 500, we can add the S&P 400 mid caps, small cap 600, arriving at the 1500 composite. We can see that histogram is above the zero line and the trigger line at two with the signal line green and bullish with price action on the S&P 1500 producing higher highs now closing at 52 week and all time highs. Breaking down these components into the advanced decline percent cumulative for the S&P 500, mid cap 400 and small cap 600 shows us that the S&P 500 is leading, mid caps are following with the small caps just behind mid caps but producing higher lows now, looking for a higher high this week. So given the lack of any negative catalysts, we should see a follow through and continuation into the first full week of trading for the month of April. Adding more stocks to our breadth calculation, this is the New York Stock Exchange, 2,700 stocks. We can see that we're above the zero line the black line, the moving average, is rising again. New York Stock Exchange advanced decline in the middle panel is about to make a new high if we continue this week. And the New York Stock Exchange continues to produce green elder sticks, challenging the all-time highs last week. 
We can also see that the New York Stock Exchange McClellan oscillator, NIMO, is bottoming. Looks like it's going to follow through and push through the zero line this week as breath thrusts continue to point to potential new highs with the S&P 500 mid caps, small caps, and the NASDAQ in the lower panel all pushing higher but not overbought above the plus 30 percent level and just above plus 10 percent. So we have more upside potential barring any negative catalyst we haven't calculated thus far. Finally we have the Wilshire 5000 composite index showing the potential for a triple top breakout finishing very strong on Thursday with RSI rising through 50. However we do have a Copac cycle moving lower so there's something of a divergence here. We'd like to see this turn higher and mirror what we're seeing in price action this week. Volume did increase while rate of change is a bit flat. So we'd like to see rate of change and COPOC turn up this week to match what we're seeing in price action. VIX continued to fade last week, closing on a gravestone doji at fresh new lows. While the signal is green, which is telling us to look for higher highs and higher lows on this 60 minute time frame going into this week. As that gravestone doji reflects a higher probability of April continuing the performance that we've seen over the last 20 years in that previous calculation, 14.48% the first six weeks of the quarter. So look for a potential for VIX to continue to drop. can always mean revert back to the 50-day. However, we do have 17 bullish indicators and three neutral with zero bearish going into this week. Starting off with the bond stock ratio in the lower panel as this ratio drops and the 65 period moving average turns over, it tells us to favor equities over the intermediate and long term, while junk bonds, biotech, small caps, and crude oil in this indicator all tell us to be thinking risk on as they all rise in unison with high yield corporate debt these risk on indicators are pushing higher looking nothing like they did back in February of 2020 when they dropped off markedly leading the markets lower as they usually do now we're seeing the opposite high yield corporate debt and junk bonds are leading us higher that said we do see some investment grade bonds moving higher like LQD TLT also shows signs of creating a base at a close to 50% retracement from the 2018 lows up to the 2020 highs. We come back to this area of consolidation looking like bond traders are picking up shares overbought. So that might be something to invest in for the longer term. And as a side note, we have seen periods where Investment grade bonds, the 20 year bond in particular, TLT, were all rising at the same time that the SP 500 in the lower panel was also in a bullish trend. So, just because bonds start to base and turn higher doesn't mean that the markets have to roll over. Both can appreciate in value at the same time as we've seen in the past. With the most likely culprit global economic recovery leading to economic expansion and despite the strength in the US dollar and the weakness in the Japanese yen we can see in the US dollar Japanese yen pair this usually rises when economic conditions improve which can be seen in the commodities index CRB index in this case Descending pattern since 2008. However, we are consolidating underneath an area where we look like we're trying to break out. RSI is still above 50 on this monthly time frame. With copper also in a monthly time frame signaling economic expansion over nine months ago. We'd also like to see crude oil stabilize 
this would be a bullish indication if crude oil started to move higher as it has a positive correlation to the equity market. Sector strength is apparent. All sectors being above the 9, 21, and 50 day, with the exception of energy, which is just at the 21 day, with real estate challenging 52 week highs in the short term, transport showing a strong performance, communications finished strong. We're looking for a follow through there as well. Financials looking for a follow through over the next couple of weeks into bank earnings. First quarter reporting. Industrials also finished strong with technology showing potential for a retest of the recent highs with consumer staples and healthcare fading. Utilities were strong last week in addition to what we saw with consumer discretionary. So make a note of the weakness in consumer staples and healthcare and focus on the remaining sectors which are bullish and following through. All of these stocks in the opening monologue were analyzed for criteria that we look for. Price above the 9, 21, and 50 day moving averages. RSI above 50 rising. MACD above its signal line or about to cross. And stochastics oversold and turning higher. We'd like to see improving volume as well. So keep that in mind as we go through some of these names. Chip stocks were very strong last week. As we saw with ASML, LRCX, Micron, AMD, NVIDIA, etc. Most of these look like they're going to follow through this week. The volume notes institutions picking up shares as price moved back above the 9, 21, and 50 day. Look for maybe a little bit of a flag on some of these names. But the criteria is there price above the 9, 21, and 50 day. Those are stacked. We've got RSI above 50. Volume increasing, MACD above its signal line or about to cross, and stochastics is rising. ATKR showing potential for a breakout to fresh 52 week highs, volume increasing, MACD is about to cross, stochastics is rising, forecasting a potential follow through. Real estate names like Century Communities following through, pushing higher, volume increasing, MACD is about to cross, stochastics is rising. Cleveland Cliffs and Steel Names flagging, looking for a little potential fade for a better entry if you missed it after earnings. Builders have been very strong following through. DR Horton, MACD above the signal line, Stochastics Embedded. Floor and Decor and Construction Related Names following through. Looking for a push higher this week, RSI is rising, volume increasing. MACD above the signal line and Stochastics pushing back above 50. Freedom Holding, FRHC, looking for a follow through this week. Bullish candle on Thursday, RSI rising. Volume increasing, MACD's cross and stochastics pushing higher. GFL Environmental, nice bullish trend, RSI is above 50. Volume increasing, like to see more in the way of volume, but MACD's above its signal line, stochastics embedded. Generac, looking for a follow through, maybe a test of the 9 EMA. Green Brick Partners, another home builder in the Dallas and Atlanta area. Following through, volume increasing, MACD above its signal line, and stochastics rising. HubSpot in the technology, internet, and communications industry groups. Following through last week, RSI through 50, price above the 9, 21, and 50 day, MACD's crossings, volume increasing and stochastics is rising. Note ATR is turning up as well, so look for bigger expansion day. Bars going forward. In mode showed up on several scans, looking for a follow through on the breakout this week. Volume increasing, MACD crossing, stochastics rising, RSI rising as well. Looks like a good follow through candidate for a swing. Innovative industrial properties, they buy and lease back Climate control warehouses for the production of cannabis, primarily. Looking good. Moves back above the 50-day. I'd be a lot more interested, but started to shape up into a W pattern or double bottom, a higher low, RSI rising, 
volume starting to increase again, MACD crossing, stochastics is set up and bullish. JCOM from previous watch lists multiple times. Nice bullish trend since late October when it moved above the 921 50 day and 200 day moving averages. When it comes back to the 921 or 50 day, watching for price action to bounce, buyers to step up. They keep showing up every time this pulls back. Still close to the 9 EMA, so this should follow through. Nice setup going forward as a swing candidate. Jable following through, nice bullish trend. A base breakout several weeks ago, first week of March, or a size above 50. Volume showing institutions have been picking up shares. MACD's above its signal line, and Stochastics is embedded. Louisiana Pacific, among others, Weyerhaeuser and Boise Cascade, all showing bullish patterns. Having retested the 21-day, buyers stepped up. Look for a follow-through here. As volume picks up again, institutions picking up shares, MACD and Stochastics rising. Looking for a bullish swing in Louisiana Pacific, Weyerhaeuser, and Boise Cascade. LOVE, looking for a follow through this week as well, riding the trend in housing. Meridian Bioscience, look like it's going to follow through and break out. Double top pattern, looking for RSI to continue, volume increasing. MACD's above its signal line, Stochastics is rising. PTC, looking for the breakout. W pattern, higher low, back above the 921.50 day, RSI is rising, volume increasing. MACD above its signal line and stochastics pointed to a bullish follow through. PayPal and the payment processors, some of these look better than others, but the whole group looks good following through. Potential for a break higher above the 50 day in the case of PayPal over the next couple of weeks. Pinterest looks strong. A nice pullback for a discounted entry. It's above the 50 day now. I'm very interested in this week. Looking for a retest of 52 week highs like the business model, the profit potential in the company. Volume starting to pick up. MACD's crossed and Stochastics is rising. Look for a swing position with a follow through potential to 52 week highs. Polaris Industries, looking for a follow through here as well. This showed up on a number of different scans, rising profit estimates, stocks near 52 week highs, IBD 50, looking for a follow through this week. Scott's miracle growth from the last couple of weeks. Watch lists continue to follow through. 52-week highs, volume increasing, MACD above its signal line, and RSI rising towards 70. SBSW looks strong, RSI is rising, price looks like it's in a range, but if it does break out, look for a follow through. Inexpensive stock, volume increasing, MACD is about to cross, and stochastics rising. Watching for Southern Carper to get above the 50-day before a potential swing long as copper continues to consolidate. Square, as previously mentioned with PayPal, looking for a follow through here back above the 50 day as well. Taiwan Semiconductor gapping up on Thursday, looking for a follow through as semiconductors look very strong. Volume increasing, I'm expecting to retest 52 week highs, RSI is pointing the way, MACD's cross and stochastics is rising. Tempur-Pedic giving you a pullback as a potential entry. A bullish day on Monday would signal a follow through of the current trend. RSI is above 50, volume starting to increase again. MACD should turn as a function of price and stochastics oversold like it was back here in late January when it took off on the recent leg higher. Looking for a repeat this time. Tesla looking for a follow through this week, a retest of the 50 day. And Wayfair looking for a follow through as well. Zebra Technologies also showing up in several scans, rising profit estimates, relative strength, and the IBD 50 looking for a follow through. MACD's crossed and Stochastics is rising. Stocks with rising profit estimates, I'm looking at some of these names like Dick Sporting Goods looking for a follow through as people get out of their houses and resume outdoor activities. LGIH with rising profit estimates in the building and construction group. Candidates from the CanSlim group also looking for a follow through. Stocks like Adobe, Alley, Allstate Insurance, Bank of America trending, Apple back above the 21 day looking for a retest of the 50 day, BlackRock breaking out 
In short, there are so many stocks that look good going into the seasonally strongest months of the year, April being one of them. Okay, traders, that's going to do it for me. This is because of it coming to you from the closingprint.com, April the 4th, Easter Sunday. I'll send out a watch list later tonight around 11, 1130 on the East Coast, 8, 830 on the West Coast. So be sure to check your inbox for that. Otherwise, I hope this helps. We'll talk to you soon. Take care, and I'll see you in the morning. Ciao.